everyone this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from circle so let's get started problem find the values of a and b if x square plus bxy plus 3y square minus 5x plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0 represents a circle also find the radius and center of the circle solution so we are asked to find the values of a and b if this represents a circle and also we are asked to find the radius and center of this circle okay given circle is ax square plus bxy plus 3y square minus 5x plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0 let's consider it as equation 1 also we have The equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Let it be equation 2. Okay. So here the quotient of x square is equal to quotient of y square, right? Where? The quotient of the quotient of x square is equal to the quotient of y square. So, by comparing these two equations and by using this scenario, we'll get the quotient of x square equals to quotient of y square. Then a equals to 3. The quotient of x square equals to quotient of y square. Right. And also we are asked to find the value of b. Right. So here you are having b x y. But we don't have any term b x y containing x y. I can say. Okay. We don't have any term containing the product of x and y in this equation. So you could write this equation as x square plus y square or better 0 into xy plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 right now by comparing the quotient of xy simply by comparing these two equations and this by comparing the quotient of xy you'll get b equals to 0 Okay, by comparing one and two equations. Okay, therefore, a equals to three and b equals to zero. Now, one can be written as firstly write the one as it is that is ax square plus bxy plus 3y square minus 5x plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0. Now, Substitute the value of a and b, then you'll get 3x square plus value of b is 0, right? 0 into xy plus 3y square minus 5x plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0. This becomes 3x square plus 0 plus 3y square minus 5x plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0. Zero. So now we have to make the quotient of x square and y square to 1. Okay. In order to make the quotient of x square and y square to 1, what we'll do is we'll simply divide the total equation by 3 or multiply with 1 by 3. We get 1 by 3 into 
or you could write it as 1 by 3 into 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 5x plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0. Again, you can write it as 3x squared by 3 plus 3y squared by 3 minus 5x by 3 plus 2y by 3 minus 3 by 3 equals to 0. Then, I'll cancel 3's. You'll get x squared plus y squared minus 5 by 3 into x plus 2 by 3 into y minus 1 equals to 0. So here the quotient of x square and y square is 1. Okay. So we have changed the given equation with quotient of x square and y square 1. So now consider it as equation 3. So here we are asked to find the radius and center. In order to find the radius and center, we need the values of g and f. Okay, in order to find G and F, we'll compare the equation 3 with the circle equation, equation 2. So now compare x squared plus y squared minus 5 by 3x plus 2 by 3 into y minus 1 equals to 0 with x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. So now we can compare the quotient of x, quotient of y and equate the constants. We will get g, f and c values. Okay. Compare the quotient of x, you will get 2g equals to minus pi by 3. If we compare the quotient of y, you will get 2f equals to 2 by 3 and by equating constants you will get c equals to minus 1, right? So here you will get g equals to minus 5 by 3 into 2 which is equals to minus 5 by 3 2s are 6 and from this you will get f equals to 2 by 3 into 2 which is equals to 2 by 3 2s are 6, okay? And you are having c equals to minus 1. Therefore, g equals to minus 5 by 6, f equals to 2 by 6, and c equals to minus 1. Now, we need to find the radius and center of the given circuit. Okay. The radius and Center of the circle x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 is given by square root of g squared plus f squared minus c and minus g comma minus f, right? See here we got the values of G, F and C by using or from the reduced form of circle equation that is x squared plus y squared minus 5 by 3x plus 2 by 3y minus 1 equals to 0, right? Using the formula, we can find the radius and center. So let's find radius. R equals to square root of G square plus F square minus C which is equals to square root of G square. You are having G equals to minus 5 by 6 whole square plus F square 2 by 6 whole square minus C that is minus of minus 1 which is equals to square root of Minus into minus is plus, 5 squared is 25, by 6 squared is 36, 
plus 2 square is 4 by 6 square is 36 minus into minus plus 1. So this equals to now you need to take the LCM of 36, 36 and 1 right. You will get 36 as your LCM. The numerator will get 25 plus 4 plus 36 once 36 which is equals to square root of 25 plus 40 by 36 which is equals to square root of 25 plus 40 is 65 by 36 again you could write it as R equals to square root of 65 by square root of 36. Square root of 36 is 6. So, you will get square root of 65 by 6 as your radius. Now, we will find the center. Center is given by C minus G comma minus F which is equals to minus of G is minus 5 by 6 comma minus of 2 by 6 which is equals to minus into minus plus 5 by 6 comma minus 2 by 6. 2 ones are 2 threes are so this becomes ordered pair 5 by 6 comma minus 1 by Three. So, this is your required center and radius. Therefore, the values of A and B are or A comma B are 3 comma 0. Therefore, radius and center of the given circle are square root of 65 by 6 and ordered pair. 5 by 6 comma minus 3 sorry comma minus 1 by 3. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from circle in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.